What's up guys, Trippickness here, and I have a mic set a taped to the bottom of my, well not the bottom, the side of my chin. That's right, I'm doing a live commentary on Nashda and Totem, the first ever zombies map. This is basically a tutorial on how to do well on this map, although I don't really have a particular strategy for this map in particular. I'm going to give it a shot anyway, I'm going to be going through all the maps in chronological order. So basically whichever one came first. This was originally brought out for World of War, for World at War, the um, Call of Duty 5, the fifth Call of Duty game. Um, most of the weapons are still the same ex from this map except in the random box which is just through that wall where um, you can get all the weapons from Black Ops. Well not all of them but all the weapons that you can get in the box from say Kino de Titan. Now this is Nashtar and Toten, there is a car 98 k on the wall here, which is quite cool. It Or Cash a Snob, as my neighbour calls it, it's pretty awesome. Um, it doesn't actually do anything much damage wise. This is the M1 Carbine, which is not like the M4, it's semi-automatic, basically the um, M14. So anyway, what you're going to be wanting to do here is letting the zombies in for round 1 and I'll just wait for that to happen yeah sorry my brother just commented that it said it to my chin as I just told you and now he's shut the door thank god um, so anyway at first six shots to the lower body and then basically do what I've done just done there it's um you're gonna want to try and line them up so that you can actually get the most points for the least amount of shots that you actually fire or if you get them right on like the foot or the lower leg you can actually fit a full mag in now the reason why I was letting them in is because I could get drops but really the best thing to get in a drop is probably the double points or a nuke or a carpenter insta kill is pretty much the worst thing I could have gotten <laughs> as a drop because it is just useless it means that I won't actually be able to shoot them but I might as well just kill them while I've got it Whoop. 360 to win the round I just failed completely Whoop. there we go so anyway we might as well just reboard the windows I've got 1530 points at the end of round one so that's not bad considering how much ammo I've got especially um, so now we're going on to round two now they will survive two knives knifing is a key part in um, getting a lot of points in zombies because of course that's what you want to do point whore basically that's what I do all the time because I am a point whore anyway let's just let them in again if I really want to let them in I don't know if I actually want to let them in but if you're feeling confident you can just let them in just let them all in. Oh, I can't be asked to let that guy in. Ah! I thought you were getting in. So, basically, I'm just waiting now. I'm trying to fill this up with meaningless speech. So, so, how's your day been? <laughs> Leave a message in the comments. Ooh, 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 ooh. So, yeah. Shoot them eight times <laughs> as fast as you can if you're in a situation like that, and um, then you'll get and try to line them up. And then I get a max ammo, which is quite nice. Oh, you commando lumpy. You bastards! Whoop. And there we go, 3,000 points. Not even the end of round two yet, quite. I'm not sure where the last zombie is, but. Let's wait for him. Ah, there he is. Ooh, 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 don't want to die. Mess up this life commentary. Anyway, um, so yeah, basically that's what you can do. Knife them always to finish them off because for a regular bullet kill you'll get 100, sorry, no, 60 points for a reg 60 or 50 for a regular, um, bullet kill about a hundred or seventy for some reason I don't know why that's happened
for a headshot kill. Now I've just opened this door and gone for the random weapon box. Now as you'll see, those are all the guns from Black Ops and I got the L96, so I'm going to grizz these zombies up now. Yeah! Headshot! Oh, oh. Triple! Oh! Oh, back to back collateral! Oh, knife! Oh no, he's nearly dead! He got a knife hit marker, how is this possible? Uh, so yeah, I've just got... I'm probably really not very good doing... Probably shouldn't really be um, using that. So now, it's one and a half mags of pistol to the body, and then a knife to kill. So now on round three. On round four, I tend to use about two mags, but sometimes it doesn't really work. So it ought to be low body for... Um, but sometimes you just can't be bothered to fit that in the whole two mags so what I sometimes do I roughly get I usually just spray around the top half of the body and usually getting around one headshot out of the whole mag and putting a whole mag in and that should kill them for round three round four you're probably gonna want about three or four headshots I'm not sure how many exactly it is, but we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. And he's probably in here. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Wah! Take that! Wah! Yeah, there we go. I'm gonna go for another random weapon because this is slightly out of ammo. And I get the FM foul. I wish I had more to go with Well, actually, tell you what, I'm going to show you what this is like. So yeah, I missed that shot, but hey, round four. It's not a one-shot kill in the head, and it reloads like that, so... It's not the best gun ever, in any way at all. But, you know, it's... It just looks awesome. There is a scoped version up the stairs, which I might unlock soon. I think they're going to... I can hear that. And that's just on. That isn't even on turtle beaches. That's just like regular speakers, and I can hear that. That is the noise that they make when they're breaking through the wall. So you can kind of tell from that. I'm not sure. It is quite important to check your back roughly all the time. Yes, indeed, Nikolai. I think. I think that's what. Oh yeah, you're very dirty Catholic indeed. Oh damn it. I got a nuke there, but I got monkeys now, which is also different. You couldn't get monkeys in the original um, World at War zombies until Dereza, which is the um, fourth and final map for World at War came out, and that was also where they introduced the Pack-a-Punch. The Wunderwaffe, which you people may have seen from Call of the Dead, where you could get it as an easter egg or something, when you completed the... Um, big easter egg that was on Call of the Dead, you got the Wunderwaffe, which um, was originally introduced on um, uh, Shino Numa, the third zombie map, and was um, ooh, it was um, also in Dereza, and uh, basically, I forgot, I've just completely lost my train of thought, and trying to kill these guys. FM Val. So basically, for the tactic, this is where you're going to want to be. I've got a nuke, but I'm not going to take it because I can get a lot more points before I take that nuke. 